What's going on guys? It's Salvaje. I'm back with another Anthem tips video. I want to focus on eight fundamental tips that every single Anthem player needs to know. As you guys know, in this channel, I like to focus on offering as much value as possible in the shortest amount of time as possible. That's right, I value your time. Which is why for my first tip, I absolutely recommend every single Anthem beginner player that to check out my 100 tips video on Anthem. All right, it has zero story spoilers, it has a ton of beginner tips and a lot of intermediate and advanced tips, tips that the game doesn't tell you about, tips that you absolutely need to know if you want to learn everything there is about Anthem. Quite honestly, that 100 tips video will literally teach you, again, every single thing that you need to know about the game all the way up to the end game. And of course, that's why I wanted to put that as my number one tip, because I value you guys' time and I don't want to hit you guys with like 15 minute tutorials on multiple things that I already talked about on my 100 tips video. Let's start off with tip number two. If you're someone that wants to experience the story in Anthem, make sure that you do the game on easy difficulty and on the private setting, or that you of course play the game with four other friends. And the reason for this is, is because if you're playing with friends or if you're playing in private and in easy, you're gonna be able to experience the story and you're not gonna be constantly being tethered towards your teammates. Let's say that you are playing with four of your friends, however, or you don't really care too much about the story. That leads me to tip number three. You absolutely want to be playing on hard as fast as possible. Hard is going to basically set the foundation that you need to actually play on the higher difficulties of Anthem, which is of course Grandmaster 1 and above. On top of all that, you can't really get away with a lot of lone wolf type gameplay on hard and hard is going to teach you sort of what you need to do as a team to actually improve at the game and what you can do yourself that will help you improve at the game and that moves me forward to my next tip that's right number four you absolutely want to build a habit out of maximizing your cover in Anthem. And as you guys are seeing in the gameplay in the background, every time that I'm being very mobile with my Interceptor, I'm always either around enemies or of course around some form of cover. And the reason for this is, is because in Grandmaster 1 and above, that's right, the enemies are going to be doing more damage and they're going to be having more health. And you have to be aware of your surroundings, but most importantly, you have to be aware of enemy pathing. And of course, that's something that I will talk about on a future video when I cover a lot of tips on the Interceptor. Let's move on forward to the the next tip, understand the blueprint system in Anthem and of course understand how crafting in general works. Simply put, if you want higher rarity blueprints, open up your Cortex, go to challenges and then of course go to gear or weapons and then of course make sure that you check out which challenges you need to do to unlock a higher rarity blueprint of the gear or weapon that you want to have. What's that? You don't really understand that that much well make sure that you check out my crafting guide video where I go a little bit more in depth into what I just said and that video is about five minutes long I believe let's move on forward to the next tip what do you do after you beat the main story well you want to make sure that you do every single agent quest and every single agent contract as fast as possible that's going to give you something that you need for Grandmaster 1 well it's gonna get you to level 30 but most importantly it's also going to give you a pretty decent amount of epic gear as of course you are leveling up that leads me forward to my next tip. Go into Grandmaster 1 with at least two Masterwork weapons. At the time I'll be making this video, you can get up to six Masterwork weapons in the hard difficulty and the reason why you want at least two masterwork weapons before jumping into grandmaster one is because epic weapons do almost next to no damage in grandmaster one and above that leads me forward to my last tip so you have an epic javelin you've made it to the end game and most importantly you have at least two masterwork weapons well what you want to do is you want to be running the tyrant mind stronghold on grandmaster one the boss will always drop a masterwork item and that's going to help you build an arsenal of masterwork masterwork gear and masterwork weapons and when it comes down to components I have had the most luck getting components on legendary contracts but of course you absolutely want to make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel please like the video I am a small youtuber and a like would be appreciated I will be bringing you guys of course a masterwork uh, leveling guide in the future so make sure that you're subscribed to that and stay tuned for my 100 tips video on javelin combat